An iconic building has emerged on the Adelaide skyline. The Samri Building, with its high-tech facade and freeform shape, complements and contrasts with the city of churches. It's incredibly iconic. You can see it flying into Adelaide, you can see it driving down North Terrace. I mean, it makes an immediate statement. We want South Australia to be aware of and proud of what we're doing, and I think the building allows us to do that. Samri is not just a building, it is a building with a function. So everything was thoroughly designed around a vision of collaboration. This extraordinary building demanded Oricon's vast architectural engineering skills as part of a deeply collaborative process between engineers, architects and the client. Significant architecture is always created through good collaboration between the architects, the client, the engineers and, and the uh, consultants. Great collaboration is really achieved when the client, the architects, the engineers, everyone together starts to you know, really own the vision from day one. The Samri project utilised BIM technology and the structural model was developed to a stage that all floor plans, including both concrete and structural steelwork, were accurately represented. Models from the consulting teams were combined together in one single Navisworks model. This model was then used for clash detection conflict resolution and planning, both before and during construction. Oricon's solution-driven thinking pushed beyond technical barriers to establish many engineering firsts. The flower columns, a first in Australia, substantially contribute to the building design and function. The building design and its elevation actually created that public space where we can attract um, the community and we give something back to the community. One of the seminar's visions was to engage the community at the ground plane level. Peter Miglis, Enzo and I spent three months living in each other's pockets to see how we could realise that vision and from that vision spawned the flower columns. Through some very hard work with the structural engineers, we were able to collate those columns. If we move the loads slightly from being over here and being over there, what can happen is we can collect those forces and land them and ground them and get efficiency as well as the floating nature all at the same time. The erection of the flower columns and transfer structure was very complex. The University of Adelaide were engaged to ensure that the flower columns on site behaved how we expected from our theoretical analysis. This process included a detailed step-by-step -step construction method to ensure that the flower columns were erected correctly and safely. To protect sensitive medical research equipment against vibrations from Adelaide's main rail hub, the Samri building is Australia's first high-level vibration resistant structure. We resolved this using complex 3D engineering modelling to both predict and eliminate floor vibrations. Through this process we were also able to reduce beam depth and slab thicknesses to substantially reduce cost to the project. The building's most iconic feature, its striking freeform geometric facade, is the world's first integrated structural facade. The diagrid facade allowed us to one, create that modular skin around the building in that uniform sculptural form that we wanted, but internally it also allowed us to control the environment inside, the sun shades, apertures opened and closed depending on the use internally into the building. It creates a particular environment full of light and energy. We spent many, many hours within the 3D FEA environment, modelling everything down to the bolt themselves. We analysed all the combinations together and it gave us a real understanding of how the facade behaved and allowed us to really work with the wider design team to be flexible with them and allow them to change things while still maintaining the integrity of the facade. The facade's steel diagrid was supplied and fabricated in China to Australian standards. The diagrid was shipped to Australia as individual prefabricated panels and put together on site. We analysed the facade for gravity, wind, thermal and earthquake loads. We assessed the behaviour of the structure to ensure that the facade performed under all conditions. We modelled the facade in stages, every single stage of the erection process and it allowed us to reduce the number of temporary props that were required to hold it up and still maintain the very tight erection tolerance that was required to build the structure. Development of the facade was really a collaborative effort between the architect, the engineers and the consultants and contractors. 
Solution-focused, out-of-the-box thinking and seamless integration of architectural and engineering skills has allowed an extraordinary architectural vision to become reality. Itself, a testament to innovation and collaboration. It's a wow effect. Everybody is amazed by its design. Everybody is excited to, to see um, such an avant-garde, bold statement. The iconic nature of the building is very important, I think. I think it, it says to South Australians, we're going to do something very special here. Research that's unknown, research that is new, state-of-the-art, and the building actually reflects that.